What's up, everybody? It's the Hardy Construction. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook. Maybe not after December 10th on YouTube, since they're going to delete every channel that doesn't make any money. So uh -huh. <gasps> get us while it's still okay. Uh, with your host, Comp and... Psychology, man. As well as... Petula. From horrorharbor.tumblr.com, the only Tumblr site worth going to since they got rid of pornography. Did they get rid of pornography? I mean, well, they're going to get rid of her soon, too. Though. Who knows? I bar I'm barely on Twitter anymore. <laughs> Is it? No, I said Tumblr. You're on Twitter, too? I I'm, know. I'm not on Tumblr or Twitter or You're not? Anymore. Really? I'm barely, I'm barely on Tumblr. Why do we Tumblr say it every time, then? I don't know. Just because we're being nice. Because that's where you know me from. Today's film is... Oh, Braid. Braid. 2018. <laughs> Braid, 2018. Two wanted women decide to rob their wealthy, psychotic friend who lives in a fantasy Ooh. world they created as children to take the money they have to take part in a deadly, perverse game of make-believe directed by Mitzi Peron. Written by yeah. Mitzi Peron. Starring <laughs> Madeline Brewer, Imogen Waterhouse. Whoa, you can tell she is like a, a, from a rich family. Mm -hmm. Sarah Hay, as well as... Why can you tell she's from a what, Waterhouse? Imogen Waterhouse. Listen to that name. It it's does so sound rich. Classy. Uh, Scott Cohen, Clyde Baldo, Rob Leo Loy, a uh, real ah fuck it, uh, and can I, can uh, a whole I, bunch of other people. Say, Zach Calhoun, Lenore Wolf. Yeah, what? I'm looking at the you know the Wikipedia right now, and mm -hmm. it says uh, under reception on Rotten Tomatoes, the film has an approval rate of 89 <laughs> percent. And you know what that makes me? I just lost all respect for Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> uh, so Theo, why did you pick this student film? I mean, why did you pick this film? Uh, cause I'd heard about it and I was curious. It was, it was an interesting like concept and the trailer didn't look terrible. Yeah, I agree. But I, yeah. I was I shown the trailer a while ago too, probably three, three or four months ago, maybe even longer than that. Yeah. And, uh, uh, a friend was like, oh, does this look good or what? I'm looking at the trailers like, hmm, you know, cause I, you know, I'm always trying to look for sort of more feminine led horror films yeah. just so it's like a different sort of voice. And of you course, you got you, you have def feminist you, view. You have uh, mm -hmm. different you have different auteurs like Jennifer Kent and uh, right. Kia. Was it um, lady who did the invitation? Very good director. I forget her name. Uh, Kusama. I forget her first name. Uh, anyway, Karen. Karen Kusama. Karen Kusama. Right. Wow. Anyway, so this film came out 2018. Tell us, Thea, what is Braid about? Tell us all about it. Braid is about two young women who are selling drugs. That's what we learn Ooh. off the top. And they're mm -hmm. going, and basically they almost get caught by the cops and they're on the run. And they're like, how do we get money to pay back for all those drugs that we did not sell? And they're like, let's go back, which is not very well explained, to the rich former best friend that we had and go like, hey, we'll play your weird psycho game if we can steal your money from your safe. Can so I, that's, that's the whole movie. Well, ahead, I, I, did she go crazy because of that fall she had? Did she like yes. break her brain and like yes. go nuts? That's okay. that's what happens. A lot of a lot of serial killers. If you look into their past, they've had a, a amount injuries. of brain damage. Head that, trauma. Yeah, right. That causes that might you know explain some of their proclivities. So with this film in the nutshell, it's basically these two girls who are. It's funny because watching the beginning of the film, I was like, mm, you know, I was like, oh, it's, you know, it has an interesting look to it. Once they started taking the LSD or what was it? It was LSD or something or some sort of drug. It seems like they, I don't know that they named it. It was like a cartoony drug. Yeah. It was like a cartoony effect of a drug. Yeah. What what you'd see like stereotypical in a movie. And from there, I was like, oof. <laughs> and then from then on, yeah. it was just like, oof. I, um, I automatically disliked every character as they were introduced. Yeah. Yeah, they're all pretty scummy. Like the way the way the film begins, uh, it's not like a typical horror film, even though it's labeled that way for some mm -hmm. strange reason. There's only basically one sequence that's a horror sequence, and right. I think what they're trying to say that this is like some sort of psychological horror, but it uh, it is they the farthest thing. That. It is the farthest. If you want to see surface level uh, psychological horror, this is it. And I don't want to completely like shit on the film. Maybe you two will. Um, but it's basically well, my shit is filled with nuts, so it's good. <laughs> it's uh, very, gosh. very nutritious. It's uh, nutty. It's just, it's a who gives a fuck movie. Yeah. I think. I um, yeah. honestly, to me, it was more like, a, what's happening? Also, like, that <laughs> because it's I said not, that like four times. Yeah, do you think this is a good representation of feminist cinema? Do you think if it was it going for that kind of angle? All of the pressures on you. I mean, I don't think so. To be to, honestly, to me. I don't know if you guys perceive this as much as I have learned to, but there's a lot of male gaze in this. 
You don't and talk about Danny that way. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> by which I mean that, like, it feels like the presentations of womanhood in this movie are, like, more sexualized for a male perspective. Oh, this than film are, itself? Than they are for, like, women. Like, we don't put them in, like, tight skin tight dresses with their braids like wrapped around them and like back that's to back. how they are in my fantasy though but it, but that's what i mean I wait let, let, let's joking. roll hold on let's <laughs> let's roll back are you making an argument that this film has the male gaze in it yeah or no okay you know i agree it does have that to a point especially listen i'm you know it does have I that gross it. guy licking her feet on the train I think that was more of a male, d- a female dominant thing, though. Yeah, no, I it's know. Like to show how disgusting is, that guy was. It is, but it's also like not like it, it's not like a powerful thing to me. She was for still that being be used for a sexual yeah. thing. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. And it, Tarantino gave that scene a ten out of ten. Of but um, <laughs> but go before. <laughs> just kidding. Before seeing this, but also I also just as an aside, there's another film that came out called Paradise Hills, starring. Mm-hmm. Emma Roberts, the girl from right. American Horror Story, and that also looked similar to this, but I heard that's not very good either, and that's a female sort of dystopian weird movie also, yeah. but I would, you know I'd rather honestly go see that. That's, uh, and also between XX, which also wasn't that good, I think women can't direct anymore. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> They've had three strikes, they're out. No more women directors. <laughs> that was coming, and I still oh, I, I knew he <laughs> Anyway, so back to this. So what What do you think the male, why the reasoning for the male gaze? Do you think it's the author's um, ownership of the male gaze, or do you think that she might have some sexual proclivities towards women or do you think it's just sort of her looking at because i could see this film is a pastiche of other movies do you think that it's more that angle of seeing oh this is what's cool i don't know i think she kind of it felt like she came at it from a direction of like i just want to do stuff that sort of looks cool and feels cool rather than something that makes sense as a story or makes sense for characters or makes sense in general like it didn't feel like that certainly (laughs) coming towards that is true (laughs) certainly coming up towards the end of the movie which we'll get to eventually and i'm sure shortly we'll get to the ending of the film Mm -hmm. i rolled my eyes so hard i I almost looked through the back of my fucking head all right we'll get to that (laughs) but anyway um with this film like you're saying and just like held my my face in my hands like like multiple times the women in this film are categorized in three in three ways one is the um I guess the lunatic, I suppose, who is played by Madeline Brewer. Mm-hmm. Um, she, what else was she in? Because I, she looked. Handmaid's very, Tale. I haven't seen that. Is she? Um, who is she yeah. in that? She plays the, she's the lunatic hand. She plays oh, the she, girl who she's crazy rebels. Oh, she's originally. the one that goes crazy in the first few That's episodes. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's also part of a film that I had heard about briefly called Cam that a lot of people were talking about early or mm. this year for um, Netflix. Um, she was part of the deleted for um, something that Brett Easton Ellis directed. Uh, I I know I've seen her before, but I can't really picture her. She's she's familiar from she's, a few things. She's a stunning looking woman. Um, mm-hmm. Not to take away from her acting. Um, Imogen Waterhouse, who plays Petula Thames, who is the one that's in the business suit. Which, uh, yeah, right. This film does fill a lot of male gaze because yeah, that her in that suit is like com- very attractive look. To I mean, her. there's something butch e a little bit about okay. that but it still was i don't know it, it felt to me a little bit still well yeah i mean they had they had the part where she women. she had I mean, to have simulated on, sex so. with the other woman <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's all that matters um she was from nocturnal animals i know i recognized her she's uh um, yeah i'm not a pervert like him i respect <laughs> you <laughs> yes i'm the one who's been saying that all this time <laughs> um, i respect yeah, she, everything about women she was good, and she becomes the out of nowhere the de facto uh, protagonist towards the latter half of the film. Right. But doesn't doesn't really matter. And rounding out Nothing the three tracks. leads, yeah, the last uh, third of these trio is Sarah Hay playing Tilda Darlings, who is Ugh. the I guess she's a <laughs> okay. You want to talk about her, Danny? She <laughs> annoys her. So she was the most annoying character in the whole mm-hmm. thing. Everything about her, her whole facial expressions, every like I, I she's either a really good actress. Or, um, or she's a bad an one? annoying person. I don't know, but like she's really <laughs> good at playing somebody that I want to like jump through the screen and punch. I'm yeah. guessing she jumped out of the world of dance into acting because she was in Black Swan and something else called Flesh and Bone, which are very right. dance centric, ballet. ballet dance yeah. um, centric films. 
And uh, anyway, but I thought she was alright. She looks a little bit like this other actress that I uh, is from the show called Eagle Heart. I don't know if you've ever seen that. Uh, oh yeah, the funny it's one. It's a comedic series, the redhead girl from that show. Uh, but it certainly is not this lady. Um, so there's the three of them. <laughs> As children, they used to play house with this little girl, uh, the rich girl who was... Um, they, the little girls look nothing like what they'd grow up into. Who no. really does. Um, they were playing in a tree house. And the rich girl, for some reason, I couldn't even tell who was who because all three of them looked the same. And right. one of the rich girl fell out of the tree on her head. And they went into... You know, they were trying to concoct some Horrible lie that the girl, girl just fell out the tree. They were... They were uh, investigated by this cop who, um, quote unquote, will investigate him in the future, played by Scott Cohen, Detective Siegel. Mm-hmm. And uh, it goes from there. Too. It, it turns into some weird MacGuffin game where the girls are trying to find, uh, what is it, a, a safe that has a lot of the money so they can sort of pay back, who was it, Coco? This the drug unseen, dealers, whatever. There's a drug dealer, um, Coco, that is unseen in the film. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it just is like that part which i thought would be a bigger thing in the film like her looking for it it happens literally like or them coming to look for her yeah yeah within two minutes they they solve uh, she solves everything they inexplicably stop looking for the money and suddenly the other girl is like in some weird loop or something i honestly have no idea (laughs) it's weird because it starts out like it starts out with like a crime caper and it's really edited really fast and weird and it's and i was like okay that's interesting Guess what? Secretly, one of them's been tricked all along, and that's not the one that you think. Is can it, you exp- though? Can you explain it, that to me? Are you sure? Yeah, because yeah, I don't well, get it. Please. <laughs> <It's>, well, <laughs> they basically go like, well, actually, uh, Petula? Is she the other redhead? Whatever. The Petula redhead. is the, the foot suit. fetish lady. No, okay, no, no Petula's Petula is the business the suit. suit. Okay. So that's Tilda's, what I mean. So Tilda and Daphne have been in on it all along, and they've been drugging. Really? Yeah. That's what they tried to do. They said they've been drugging uh, Petula. Every time she figures it out, they drug her again and go like, okay, well, we got to do this again to make you get it that you have to live this way. What? And what? That's even yeah. worse than what I live, thought. Live what, what did you way? think? I, I thought know. I thought the three of them were just playing a game because nope. at the end they were doing, it, it turns into some sort of goofy, um, what is that? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, and not to well, I guess I'm gonna spoil it anyway. Um, what the fuck was that movie? The Kevin Spacey film, uh, Usual Suspects. It uses oh, okay. the same exact ending of Usual Suspects. I won't say who the Usual Suspect right. is, but throughout that film, you'll see there's a whole bunch of items that the person was using to sort of supplant as a real life thing in their in their life. So like, if the girl saw a little cop car toy. They drove the cop car into the water. Do you know what I mean? It's like it's mm-hmm. like something that's so represented by a toy. So you think that really the crazy one with the brain damage that was playing this game was the one in the business suit, and the other two were her hallucinations to make no. her think she was crazy? No, it's real. So Theo, hold no, on. it's ex- real. Explain this crap all to me because this makes it even no, worse. No, no, not, not that it's real, saw. but they're playing along with her to humor her, like the way in Memento. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Okay. So Theo, what's going on in this movie? Explains because I. <laughs> I could have well, sworn. Maybe, Hold on. Let me just maybe, explain maybe what my I thought. Missed, of, maybe I missed the whole thing. I don't let know. me just explain what my thought of this ending is. Sure. I thought that this whole time, these girls, for some reason, they were all making this up as a big game with each other. And they just nah. keep doing it every so. Because at the end, the movie that I, when I was watching, it had subtitles on it. So at the end, the old lady at the window, it said, it says, uh, uh, Daphne says something and i was like oh that's daphne as an older lady so that means they, they keep doing this even when they're getting older and older mm-hmm. so i thought they were oh is that is that true okay. that really is her well that's the the subtitle that came at up when sink. i was watching it yeah at the very end when the old lady's looking through the window yeah like as they do in the beginning sort of so her at the sink i figure they're just sort of playing this weird game and i don't know why you know to humor the crazy girl but if you're saying it's something else then please like i i have no clue what the fuck's going on then <laughs> Am I crazy? Did I watch a different? I'm confused now. What is okay? So, uh, okay, so they, nothing, ha- okay. nothing happened. They were never in a drug it's problem. All, they were always insane. there. They just right. seem to come back to this house every so but many years. One of right? one of them, the business suit one, didn't know that they had come back over and over and over. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah that okay. was what I thought. They kept drugging her so that she did not. Okay, maybe I, maybe back my mind just wiped that out. I think Alex made it so way cooler two were in than it really is. 
The other two knew that they were doing it over and over because they were trying to get her to stay. But so is it drug, that they, they would drug her every time? That's why she had all those marks on her arm. That's why she kept getting stabbed in the hallway or whatever. Is it just that they keep dragging her back to? Yeah. How? Basically. What kind of oh, magic drug are they giving and her? She, where she has and no she and she was the one that called as the drug dealer or whatever. She's the one on the other. Tilda's the one on the phone. Yeah, but why? Why doesn't she remember it? Because she's being drugged. It doesn't make any sense. None it of it makes any sense. You sound so annoyed. <laughs> I am annoyed. <laughs> Because I thought that I was hoping this movie would be okay, and it was not. It's all right. You know what? This is a bad month for both of us because I've chosen some real, uh, <laughs> some real stankers. Yeah, uh, I'm looking at the like the Reddit discussion. There's only probably like 20, well, you, you 16 got the rose comments. Red. That was good. Yeah, that was good. Um, <laughs> there's like somebody trying to ask about the ending. One person. Let's see who this person is. What did they say? They said this movie is a wonderful mind trip. <laughs> is it? No, it's not. <laughs> Oh, I don't boy. know. Said it's eighty. What was it? What was it? Eighty-seven percent. Let me look again. That's was, a little wild. Um, were there <laughs> were there any good things about this film? I mean, the acting was okay. Yeah. 80, the girl, okay. Eighty. The girl in the business suit was nice. Nine percent. Mm-hmm. You know what? Rotten Tomatoes is not a trustworthy site. That's what I have to say about this. Oh God. People I liked I, it. I don't get it. I don't get it either. What do you I, think I, is I, that we don't get about wait, it? What do you I'm think looking at Reddit. It? You know what I think is that we don't get about it? We actually watch movies, and we are not stupid people who You just think we like just don't have time okay. for this shit? This is, is like artsy, artsy, fa- this is artsy-fartsy for people <laughs> that have never seen anything, anything outside good. of completely normal movies. Like a Lars von Trier movie. They've never seen that. Yeah. I think like they've never it? seen that. That would blow their mind. They were trying I, to know, mash... I, guess I sound very pretentious right now, but I guess no, you know, maybe right. I'm a movie. They were trying to mash a crime thriller with an um, uh, art house film and try to look smart at the end of it with that whole, hey, look, there's a cop car, so it never happened. Hey, look at this, that never happened. And which yeah. There's a lot of ways you can do that, which I've that has been in a hundred million films already. With so oh, this many. represents that or that, but what well, it didn't mean anything. Like the the part that I knew this was falling apart. Like when the girl took the drug in front of the house and then she starts running in the house. Like the e- yeah. editing went crazy. I was like, oh no, it's and gonna be one of those the kids. Ones. And then it was like, but that doesn't make any sense. Why is this happening? Because the first when Danny said he had like a couple of, like w- he was he was not understanding it. He had called me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, this is like a student film. And then it was like, yeah. yeah, that's exactly... And it felt like a student movie. Yeah. And student films could be great. They like, can, but this felt like the pr- so director wasn't... Like the director was just sort of taking pieces from other bigger films and trying to make something yeah. visually interesting, but it didn't work. Well, too. and she also wrote it, which means that she couldn't do either thing. And it was a be- it's a beautiful location and for the, the film. The thing that's crazy is it's an 82-minute film... And it felt mm-hmm. like it did feel long. so long. It felt like it, I couldn't. I couldn't oh, believe God. how it kept going and going. Oh. Like okay, the last so this... twenty minutes were like two hours. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, even the cop killing scene when they're all doing that and they slash him, I was like, "That's fine." And the blood's flying up, mm-hmm. and they're trying to be artistic, and it's hitting sure. the girl, sure. defying all physics. But of course, it didn't happen anyway, so it doesn't yeah. matter. Like the opening of them throwing the body into the into the pit, it I thought it didn't happen. I guess I'm still not. I mean, they might they might have killed the cop. I don't. No, think I think they did kill the, they cop. Didn't kill the cop. Okay, wait. I found. I don't think any of that happened. So no, this no, person did, on Reddit, did, this person think. on Reddit explained this. So they have all been living together since they were little girls, forcing Petula to play their game with them forever. The train, the apartment, the outside world was all fake and imagined. They've never left the house or haven't gone far from it. The end suggests they'll play this game until they okay. grow old and die. Petula will always forget it, it that it isn't real and then remember and then forget and then repeat. Is what this person says. I Which is kind of what I thought, but... I don't know. It's does it, either way. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like I. I didn't. It didn't stick with me as a movie. Honestly, no. it just did not like. It felt you could see that they were reaching for something, and it then just I was annoyed like, me. Yeah, because you uh, could I tell when that twist it made happened. Me lose you interest, could tell the honestly. person yeah, really. who wrote it when they wrote that twist. They were like, "I'm the best." Like, uh, <laughs> they definitely. Uh, the they three definitely of us thought it was so amazing, and no, it Jesus. wasn't though. I think the three of us are the only people that does not like this movie. I don't understand it. It's bizarre. It says like one person. <laughs> Wait, says, no, no, no. Here's Great, somebody... excellent movie, a serious <laughs> ride on Reddit. 
No, there's two people on Reddit. Here, hold on. I'm all for creative storytelling, but what I'm the fuck that. did I just watch? Seriously, I need yeah, I'm reading that too. <laughs> okay, good. That's still that's still not a that's still not a negative thing. Agreed. I, I watched. Maybe this. we're just too pretentious. Thank you for the suggestion. This is my favorite type of film. Very niche, I know, but God, when it's done right, it's breathtaking. Is it? What? <laughs> Somebody right <laughs> after it? says, please, God, someone explain <laughs> the ending to me. Uh, I, I I don't uh, know. Uh, uh, and you know uh, what's annoying oh, look, here is we go. that like, just us talking about it, somebody would be like, see, it got a response out of you. It's art. <sighs> Fudda Shuck Up. Uh, Fudda Shuck Up says, it'll be one of those films that has no plot, keeps you guessing till the end until you go, meh. There you yep, go. There that, you go. Thank that's, you, that's, that's, thank you that Fudda person. Shuck Up makes sense. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Fudda Shuck <laughs> Up says, <laughs> Fudda Shuck Up's like, comments on this is hilarious. And read. It looked like three women waving their arms about in a big house. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that was just from the trailer. So I don't know. I guess she didn't, they didn't see the film. But still, they, I should have just read his or, his or her uh, <laughs> thing and not watched the movie. Anyway, I don't know. He's I, I, he chose a review. real stinker. This is worse I, than uh, <laughs> right, the where we are what we are. American got, remake. This person said, I got kind of lost at the end, but I still liked it. I give it 8 out of 10. <laughs> wow. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, man, listen. If you can enjoy a terrible... Uh, oh, well, I'm not going to say this is a terrible... Well, it's a movie. <laughs> it's someone... It's if somebody bad. can enjoy something that but I look, do I'm good for say, them... This is what I'm going to say good about it, though. Mm -hmm. Uh... The actors are Something all pretty. Sexist, three, the actors two, are all pretty good. One. Okay. It's uh, it seems like it's shot pretty well in certain yeah. parts yeah. at least. They got it's cool too much sets. style, but it's not shot badly. Yeah, they got you know cool like sets and shit. Like mm -hmm. beautiful house. It's yeah. just Production a really really nice. bad script. Honestly, that's yeah. it. Like, <laughs> it seems to me that one scene where I think like you know how we always say they they think of a shot and then read build a film around, around it, it. Yeah. Yeah. that shot with the two girls tied by their braids was the braids. that, was that had to be that's probably the first shot they ever did for the 100%. film and then just did because that was that was something where i was like oh wow when i saw that because then what did she just let him go and then that's it then the, yeah because I that shot that right i can there. feel that too like also, when i saw like, the also when i saw she the, cut their eye and their mouth and then they didn't have cuts on uh, because none of it happened yeah. <laughs> but i know believe. From the trailer itself and from the log line of two girls try to rob their crazy friend, you think, oh, the crazy friend basically tortures them a la, like, some fucking saw or some weird this, shit. This is the thing. The Even if the director explained, like, maybe I'm really dumb and I'm missing the twist and there's somebody yelling at the audio right now, but, like... Even if I knew the explanation, it's still a dumb movie. Like, <laughs> Yeah. It is. I mean... It doesn't make it better. I sh it shouldn't have to be this hard to understand and if I don't understand like there are movies I sometimes don't understand like David Lynch movies but they're so awesome that it doesn't even matter like but this no nah. it's but because also, the I style I did understand it still wasn't good like you know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so I get it so it's like I'm glad we have Thea here so we're not like sexist pigs quote unquote that I mean, are, you are. are trampling well respect, that's fine I respect women uh, I can't okay. say it enough times. So yeah, you know, we're not trampling over ladies, female I respect artists. You so mm. much, send me a message, <laughs> and I'll tell you all about it. Oh, but yeah, it's I, I I don't know. I mean, there's nothing else really we can <laughs> say about this. I, you, I'm trying to drag this out so it's. Uh, I knew least, this was uh, gonna be a short review, you know. Yeah. Um. So what rating would you give this, uh, Thea? Oh God, I don't want to go first because I don't know how all low right, Danny, I should go. Danny, you go first. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a four. Yep. Maybe a four and a half. It's a four and a half. Is it? <laughs> wow. Damn, Thea. Wow. I'm gonna give it a four. But is literally, is it? I'm, what did you feel? I'm try I feel bad because there's good acting and you know, whatever. I'm gonna give it a four and it. a half. Don't pressure me. I'm being nice. A four right. four and a half out of ten. Um oh God, I don't even know. I can't even think of anything. Well, okay, four and a half out of ten hitting someone in the knee very hard with a, like a mallet or something and then they're like fine like a minute later yeah i it's weird because i wanted to give it like a three but yeah. i guess four would be fine i guess Is but it? it's i know no i really i understand what you mean by the three uh because Am I being too, it's, was i too nice I You're think always so too nice. because you know what is this like? It's not like the worst film I've ever seen, but it's the fact that it's fucking bad, man. Yeah, it's pretty. It's, it's not bad enough badly. to be good. Yeah, it's not like the worst I've seen in the you know like it's not worse than Rabbit Grannies, 
but it's sure, but there yeah, are well, things like that that are so bad. That's Danny's good favorite. Movie. Yeah, yeah, no, but no, that's not that movie. movie. That's the worst movie I've ever seen. But yeah. like with Bird this, Demet. it's just that. It's just that. It it makes you go, why? Why am I watching it through the middle of it? And for a movie to do that, that's like really bad. Like through the middle of it, you go, what the <laughs> fuck is this? Like, what do I care about this? Because you feel like the quality just sucked itself right out of the movie. Yeah. And it, and it's not like a overtly horrible movie, but it's not something that's trying to do something different or be great or something. Yeah. And I don't, I can't put my finger on it because I know obviously these people gave a shit about making the film. Go ahead, say your line, Thea. Is it? But Is um, it? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna give it a four just out of just out of being kind to Pete. I know a lot of people worked hard on it, um, but the four is mostly for you know the acting and there the opening part is pretty interesting, but they really lose me uh, 20 minutes into this film. So I'll give it a four out of ten. Um, dominating a man by having him kiss your feet and lick him and. <coughs> Hey man, shit! If I could get a free train ride, I'd do that all the time. I have people kiss my right. feet all the time. Fair what's enough. your rating, Fia? Uh. <laughs> you don't have to be all right, nice with us. You're, you the, nice. you're, the, you're a woman. Give it, Got well, four and a half. To four. I'm gonna give it a three and a half. Nice. Okay. Uh, <laughs> splitting drugs seeming like a bad idea in a house full of just absolute crazy, not Viking and maybe LSD. Who knows? Out of ten. Oh boy! And with Good that, uh, Thea, what's the final word? Bubble. Danny, what's the final word? The script is the most important part of any film. <laughs> the horror deconstruction.